For the first time, Ukraine destroyed a Russian Ka-27 helicopter in Crimea. A Russian Ka-27 helicopter has been shot down in occupied Crimea, Dmitry Pletenchuk, spokesman for Ukraine's Navy, has reported. A Russian Ka-27 down in Crimea. It was looking for something. It has found it, he said. The spokesperson provided no further information, including the type of weapon used to down the helicopter. According to reports from the Crimean Wind Telegram channel, a sound resembling a rocket launch was heard in Sevastopol on April the 10th, followed by a muffled explosion reminiscent of those observed during air defense operations. According to other reports from the helicopter pilot Telegram channel, it could be a friendly fire that brought down the Russian helicopter. The Ka-27 is a Soviet-era naval multifunctional helicopter designed to perform naval anti-submarine defense tasks. It is deployed on ships of various classes. It can detect modern submarines and surface targets, transmit data about them to shipboard and shore stations, and attack them with onboard weapons. Russia's helicopters have been a target of Ukraine's efforts, but Kyiv more frequently reports Russian jet and fixed-wing aircraft losses. Long time, no sea destroyed Russian helicopters. The Ukrainian Defense Ministry said Ka-27 helicopters stationed at the Kacha Air Base in the Bakhtisarai district of Crimea are used by the Russian Black Sea Fleet to track Ukrainian naval drones and landing craft. Since the start of the large-scale invasion of Ukraine, Russia has reportedly lost 325 rotary wing aircraft in the conflict. However, the destruction of the Ka-27 helicopter was not mentioned during the morning briefing by the chief of the general staff of the Ukrainian armed forces. Although the nature of what brought down the Ka-27 is not known, several sources agree that it was indeed neutralized. However, official confirmation or evidence is still pending, so this is a developing story. Вот такое произошло у нас несчастье. Ребята подорвались у нас в классе, где мы ремонтировали и занимались и в ПВ. Один парень очень сильно, второй контузило хорошо, всего двое было. Одного успели вытащить, второй сам выбежал. Ну, руки оторвало, к сожалению. Теперь все будем заново. Еще потом два дня детонировало, взрывало здесь боеприпасов. Много у нас здесь лежало. В класс заходить сейчас нельзя, потому что лепестки, омки, все оборудование сгорело к чертям. такое вот несчастье more than 33 f-16s have appeared in the eu which can be transferred to ukraine for example, Greece, which is currently implementing a large-scale program to modernize its air force fleet may transfer to Ukraine. As part of the modernization program, it is planned to decommission 108 fighters and prepare them for sale, including 32F-16C-D Block 30 fighters according to Greek media, the transfer of 32F-16C-D Block 30 to Ukraine is considered almost inevitable. It is noted that during their service, fighters of this type have undergone two modernizations and today, on average, they have used up about 60% of their service life. So, Greece is undertaking a substantial transformation of its air force, planning to decommission and sell parts of its diverse fleet, including F-16 and Mirage 2000 fighter jets, as part of its efforts to modernize and streamline military capabilities for the 21st century. According to the war zone, the Block 30 F-16s include 34 single-seat F-16C and 6 F-16D variants. Those aircraft were procured under the Peace Xenia I foreign military sales program and delivered between 1988 and 1990. It was previously suggested those aircraft could be used as aggressors for air defense training, but it now seems more likely that Athens will seek a foreign buyer. The aircraft might not have to fly far, Ukraine was quickly named as a potential destination.